<laughs> Hi, it's Sarah. So it's been requested that I do a what you need to know card pick. And this is a little bit different as in I'm doing three cards and you decide which one is the message that you need and then you'll watch the reveal. And you may need all three actually. I am using the traditional Tarot Rider Waite deck and in the middle you will see the Oracle card from the Soul Coaching deck by Denise Lynn. And this is going to show us basically what we need to know anytime that this video comes up. Take it as a sign that this is a message that your guides, your angels, your ancestors are trying to tell you, okay? So let's dive right in. Get settled, ground yourself, take a deep breath, and then look at each card. Look at the stone on top of it, think about the shape, think about the size, think about all of it, and then go with your gut. <laughs> Seriously, which one did you feel more drawn to first before you really started thinking about it? That's probably the one you need to pick. Your intuition, your guides are leading you to that card. So don't overthink it and don't use logic. Don't go, well, I always pick hearts. So I'm going to get the one with the heart, but I didn't really like it. I wanted the one on the end. Okay, then maybe listen to both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and turn over the first card now. Mm, interesting, very interesting. And this is a very good card. This is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups in this type of card pull or card reading signifies positive changes, new beginnings, second chances, almost like opportunities from heaven. Things are going to start turning up in the most unexpected ways and things are going to start working out. Happiness, bliss, yeah. So this is... um. This is a very interesting card to have it have it turn up. It means that probably things are in flux in your life right now and you need to know that everything's going to work out. Even though it may not seem like it now, there's a new relationship around the corner, there's love, there's happiness, there's possibly conception, fertility and pregnancy as well, but also socializing, happiness, yeah, it, it's a really good card. So don't be discouraged if things aren't working out for the best right now. People will soon be very receptive to you and they will help you through some of these blocks that you're having and your circle will expand, your social circle will expand as well. It's also an indication of good news or a celebration is coming your way. So if you're waiting on an answer, probably the answer is going to be yes or going to be very positive for you. So this is a wonderful card to get in this type of reading and using the the full deck and as you can see um, this is the full tarot deck sometimes the cards can be rather hard lessons but this one is just the opposite of this this is yeah everything is going to work out and possibly you know if you're looking for work, it's a positive omen of new opportunities coming your way. And also, if you're trying to conceive, it's a positive omen for that too. So everything is maybe in flux, but soon will be working itself out. So that's amazing. Okay, so let's see what the middle card is. This card is from the Oracle deck. So let's see what your guides, angels, and our higher self is trying to tell you. Oh, nice, inspiration. Basically, be open to divine inspiration, or possibly you're inspiring others even though you may not realize it. Sometimes we get so caught up in our own life that we forget that other people are watching us, are looking up to us, or maybe watching our struggles, and we could very well be inspiring them without even knowing it. It's not a, an ego thing, it's more an inspiration. Being an inspiration for someone else means more than just, oh, they want to be like you. It means more in the general area, spiritually, of they're happy for the progress you've made and want their own progress. So it's not a jealousy, it's not like taking it away from you, it's more wanting their own. But they also see that you're doing it, so if they can do it, you can do it. And you know, that's what I always say, if I can do it, you can do it, right? So take this as that sign. If there's something that you're waiting to do or something you've been putting off to do out of fear or maybe you didn't feel quite ready, take this as that sign. Go out there and do it. You can do it. Be someone's inspiration. And also take this as an opportunity to really kind of 
sit down with it and see how far you've come. Look at the progress you've made. Because like I say too, we get caught up in our own day to day and we forget these things. We forget how much work we've done and how much progress we've made. And I feel also we need sometimes to invite in this energy of creation or inspiration. And once we are open, this energy can flow in and change our lives in ways that we would never expect. Even if the motivation that occurs seems maybe unusual or strange, it's okay, welcome it and just work with it. Because it's all about fresh ways of viewing the world, changing your perception, moving out of your comfort zone and opening yourself up to this big flow of energy that's surrounding you because through this type of inspiration we make those changes that we really need to make we get out of our comfort zone we get out of those ruts we meet those new opportunities head-on and our life changes so that's really what this card is about the affirmation for it is I am receiving divine inspiration right now which is really powerful too isn't it so if you are feeling stuck and like things aren't quite working out, maybe this message is more along the lines of open yourself up to this type of creative inspiration by doing something different. Change up your routine, change up what you eat maybe. Spend time outside in nature or maybe even try meditation or automatic writing. Just really break up the routine and be open to the possibility of being inspired, okay? It's really a pretty good card too. So just keep that in mind that if you're you know, like I say, if things aren't just flowing like you want them to, that it could be that. You could just kind of be, you know, slightly blocked. This card also has to do with the uh, three lower chakras too. So you might check and see if maybe you have a block there. Okay, so that's not bad. That's, that's not a bad card at all. Let's pull the third one. Are you ready? Okay, okay, let's pull the third and final card. Hmm, the Ten of Cups. Well... All right, as you can tell by the picture on this card, this is a very, very positive card. This card is about happiness and happy families. It's about reunions, homecoming, security, stability, harmony, long-term relationships, happily ever after, caring, loving children, fun, play, creativity, being fulfilled, true happiness, spiritual fulfillment. Yeah, this is a very, very good card. If you see it, come up in a card poll, then you know that basically you're on the right path and that things are going to work out. So if you're right now maybe wondering if you're doing the right thing or if you should proceed forward, I would say if this was the card you picked, yes, definitely. You need to continue the path that you're on and you should very soon be feeling very happy and secure because things are lining up for you and you soon will be tapping into a large flow of abundance and feeling truly blessed. So now is the time to reap the rewards of hard work basically is, is the meaning behind this card. You've done the work, you've put in the time, and now you're starting to see the payoff. So if you're not there yet, know that this is what's coming. Just keep working, keep moving forward, and know that in time, and probably quickly actually, that things will start working out in your favor. And your life will probably go up a level. You'll level up <laughs> probably with wealth, abundance, spiritual knowledge, love, the whole, the whole gambit. Because this card is about true happiness, not um, fleeting happiness or not, um, how should I say, not the kind of happiest happiness that's transient where you know we we get a promotion we spend our money on a new car and then we end up with debt and the car's not as good as we thought it was it's not that kind of happiness this is long term fulfillment in love relationships if this if we were reading for love this would mean yeah that definitely your soulmate is right around the corner but this is not a love reading this is just what your higher self, your guides, your your spirit guides, your angels want you to know. So taking it in that context, yeah, you're on the right path. Just keep working, keep moving forward, and very soon things are going to start working out in ways that you never saw coming. And it will be lasting happiness, fulfillment, and generally everything you've probably ever dared to dream about. <laughs> so yeah, that was a wonderful card. Looking at these three cards together, we can see that each one of them was very positive. And normally, 
A lot of people are afraid of the Rider Waite deck because there are a lot of cards that have harsh meanings, as I said in the beginning of this video, but there's also a lot of good in this, this deck too. As you can see, these two cards on the end were very good, and the middle card, the Oracle card, was also very good too, but these two cards were especially favorable. So if you pick the first card or the third card, yeah, things are really going to start working out for you soon, and I'm so happy for you. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. If you would like your own personal reading, you can, of course, always find me at Serenity. And once again, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We want you to be part of the Serenity family. Reiki blessings! Bye-bye!